in defeat at Hillsbury this afternoon. What's your assessment of the game? Um, frustration. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard for me really to, to stand here and criticise because what they've performed, how they've performed out there today and the way they've performed gives me immense pride again to come here and dominate the game for the entire 90 minutes and have chance after chance and play that way is absolutely brilliant. Um, they've changed shape to start the game, which is credit to us. They're trying to change shape in-game to find solutions to stop us and, and they couldn't. And we were still cutting through them, still creating lots of chances, but today we just didn't take them. And the performances haven't changed really at Park, probably Cambridge where we were under par. Every other game we've created that many opportunities and some games we're scoring four or five and then a game that looks exactly the same way we're scoring none. And we have to make sure that we make teams pay and, and not let them, off, let, let them off the hook. And we've let them off the hook today. Of course we had chances in the first half and the second half, but when you break the game down, were, were Sheffield Wednesday lucky to get to the break without conceding? Well, I think they were lucky for the entire game, but sometimes that happens in football. Sometimes in football you don't always get what you deserve and, and our players didn't get what they deserve today. But we'll pick them back up and we'll keep our belief and confidence and we've got a big local derby next week to, to attack and try and go with. Obviously we've not taken our chances today and you'll be frustrated with the result, but when you leave Hillsborough this afternoon, do you leave positive about the performance? I leave frustrated, but I need some time really to, to um, think and uh, to take the emotion out of it and, and re-watch it. And I'm sure I'll, I'll see lots of great things and, and see lots of positive uh, performances. But when you don't win games that you've dominated, it always leaves a bit of sour, a bit of sour taste. And today, we haven't got what we deserved. And that's our own fault. Nobody else's. We just didn't take our chances. When you look at the, the calibre of players that Sheffield Wednesday could put out today, does that show how good your players are when you look at the performance yeah. we've just put in and the way that Sheffield Wednesday had to adjust to accommodate us? I've just said that to them. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what stage of the career they're at, whether you're a young player or an experienced player, my pledge to them is that me and the other coaches will improve them. And we feel that they are still improving. They're still learning. They're still developing. The detail in some of our players is excellent. It's, it's, it's top quality and it's hard to deal with. You know, Darren is a fantastic man and a very good coach and they couldn't find the solutions today. It's just for us, that ruthless and clinical edge that we need to have in the final third. We had a narrow defeat up at Sunderland recently yeah. and, and that was an excellent performance up there. Is it a similar level of frustration today? I think we were probably even better today. I mean, because the first half was quite even at Sunderland and the second half we dominated, but today I think we've dominated from start to finish. And as I said, they probably had one shot first half, a header that Joel saved comfortably, and then one shot second half and it's a goal. And we got sucker punched, you know, we've dominated and, and just got hit. We've won counter-attack, but um, lots of positives to take, lots of pride from that performance, lots of good things. We'll keep our heads up and keep going. When we put in a performance like that, I don't want to encourage you bemoaning the referee, but do you feel like a few decisions went against us Absolutely. today? Absolutely. Um, I feel I also should have been off the pitch. We've seen it. We saw in the Liverpool Man City game these big decisions can have an impact on the game. And they struggle to get the ball or get near the ball with 11 men. And if they got, had 10 men, we'd punish them and keep the ball. It'd be very hard for them. And I think to clear the yellow card, the first one, and then to bring Kieran Lee down on the edge of the box when he's, he's in on goal, should be a yellow card and would be a yellow card. And there were yellow cards given in that game, which were lesser tackles than that. Um, I feel sorry for Dapo. Dapo was about to shoot and, and probably score second half and he gets booked for simulation when it's a clear foul. We've watched it back many times, it's a clear foul, you can't get that wrong. And then a handball at the end, which we've seen given, his, his hand was away from his body, he's hit his arm. Yeah, we just didn't get it over the green today. Just finally, Ian, over 3,000 Bolton fans in that stand over there behind you, just a word on yeah. that. Amazing again, magnificent support and I feel for them because they'll be probably as frustrated as I am because they've seen so many good things but not seen their team win. But I'm sure they'll be proud of us of what we're doing, proud of the way the team's playing. There aren't many Bolton teams that have played like that in these big stadiums in recent years. So we'll keep going, we'll keep working hard, we'll keep that positivity and connection with them and hopefully give them something to sing about next Saturday.